I came to that realization uh, the spring of my senior year. Um, I'd been through a few relationships with women and none of them really worked. Um, and I, was, I remember I was sitting on the quad and I kind of had this aha moment where I uh, was talking to my friend about how much I valued a friendship with a guy I had and I realized that maybe it was a little bit more than that. Um, and a lot of things just kind of fell into place in that moment. I don't think I ever specifically came out. That was a thing that came up where um, I wrote a blog post when I was 20, I think, that was just about microaggressions and being queer. And I posted it on my Facebook just because I'd been writing a whole bunch of uh, feminist posts recently. And then I had a whole bunch of my family members come out and be like, hey, is this your coming out? Like, should we be ra waving rainbow flags? Like, we want to support you. And I was like, I've, I've been out since a while now. Like, I don't know if there was ever a time I wasn't per se. It was just all of you assuming that I wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> so, it uh, wasn't a lot of people like me growing up. Uh, I didn't know anyone actually uh, like me growing up. Um, and of course, you know, in school and stuff, if you were, if you were different, uh, that's when people would, you know, like to make fun of you for things like that. So, always definitely felt alone. Um, it wasn't really until maybe about six or seven years ago that I found actually a, a community that was full of uh, transgender people. and. Uh, I was able to identify with them and you know I was able to find out that hey there are other people out there like me and uh, yeah. The biggest thing for me was discovering that I wasn't the only person that felt this way that there are other people like me uh, and there was a community of people that would you know accept me for who I am give me the support that, that I try to give as well and that was really transformational for me. I went from feeling like I was completely alone in the world and completely by myself and feeling this way to discovering that there was a vibrant community of people that were you know, similar in some ways, but so, so much more different uh, that it was a celebration of our, it became a celebration of our, you know, of our diversity and our, and our, our forms of self-expression. To anyone who might feel isolated or scared, I say use the internet. Uh, there are so many people out there who feel very similar to you uh, or who might be able to tell you what their experience is like and just that connectedness um, is something that has been really valuable to me. Uh, and if you're not able to find that connectedness in person, go to the internet and find people like yourself. I believe in a world where hope outshines fear. I commit to stand up and speak out against hate and intolerance. My support for LGBTQ youth will be steadfast. I am a part of a global community that is proud and resolute in its efforts to create a brighter, more inclusive world for all people. <laughs> this is the line that makes me cry every time. <laughs> uh, give me a second. I know it will get better. <laughs>